Hello, uh, this is Matt Gaughan at the Colmar France Tattoo Convention. My record title is Most Squares Tattooed. I have 848 black checkers, probably since 2014, added 20 to 30 uh, new squares, but they're flags of country. First tattoo I did on myself at age 14 using a needle and India ink. Uh, when I was 15 years old, my mother couldn't stand the homemade tattoo and uh, let me get a professional tattoo. That was uh, at 1985. Tattooing wasn't popular or cool, and there was no internet when I got into it. Tattooing was for people who weren't part of society, and that's what I liked about it. I like having the freedom to look my own way. A lot of this represents personal freedom in my appearance. Only five people did my bodysuit, and they're all dead now, too. Coincidentally, um, that was over 25 years ago, and they're all older artists at the end of their career. We would tattoo me from my collar all the way to my ankle in nine hours. So I had a lot of lot of days like that. I have small tattoos by 155 people. What is the record that you have? Uh, in most checkers. Uh, two doctors stripped me naked and did it with a white paint marker over each black checker in, right. on my body. Technically, <laughs> what we're going to do today is try to find a spot here, which is kind of difficult. I hope it's not so painful. Oh, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> if I could feel my legs, I would care. Check it out. I barely feel it. I don't really feel tattoos. I don't feel much pain anymore, which is good in this case. I like his style, and he does um, very thin line detail work, which is necessary to do this tattoo correctly. Sorry, that's a rock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I trained to be a tattoo artist. My problem was people. It wasn't the art, it was people. <laughs> so I stopped. <laughs> Very good. I get a lot of scans, so I can't have metal in me. I just had an MRI last Tuesday, and um, you know, uh, MRI, the magnets would pull them out of my body, so I have glow in the dark plastic in my nipples. What up? Ah, <laughs> uh, there. Yeah, that makes a good difference. Yeah. That makes a difference. You, my friend. <laughs> No light. I have something called Poland syndrome, where I'm missing my left pectoral, um, a bicep, a kidney. I have a muscle on this side, but I don't have the major pectoral muscle on this side. I have an artificial shape of a muscle tattooed here, like a fake breast. We disguised and reduced the uh, shape of my muscle using this. We didn't outline a muscle. We actually did a large tattoo that hides the muscle. Just the optical illusion hides the missing, um, the depression in my chest. I work for a company that uh, worked with medical tattooing of women who are missing breasts and I'm a male missing a breast. So that's how I qualified to do my, that kind of work. Uh, my whole life I've had gastrointestinal, abdominal swelling and uh, bloating and problems. So this spiral and this whole shape, it, it camouflages it, it makes it more enjoyable. My rib cage is uh, it here deformed. These shapes all hide the um, deformities of the torso. I have a total of 14 different rare birth defects that they've discovered. They are still discovering more. The tattoos, um, they make me enjoy my body. I'm not tall, I have a high voice. My high voice is because I have a birth defect in my throat where I have a child size airway. And the tattoos made me um, like my body more. It made me enjoy living in my body despite all these um, mutations and birth defects. I realized young, at a young age, that checkers were everywhere. Children's toys, bathrooms, floors, um, art, fashion, even in ancient cave paintings, one of the earliest designs, they drew circles, they drew squares, then they drew checkerboards. Checkers, it was an original idea, and in tattooing, that's the hardest thing to do. I'm asymmetrical. I have birth effects on one side of my body. I like the symmetry of the checkers that um, hide and camouflage the asymmetry of my body. I don't have anywhere in my body where I can play an entire game of chess or checkers. I don't have 64 squares in one spot anywhere in my body. Oh, here's the phoenix around my collar. Wraps all the way around my neck. My ears are both three-dimensional flowers. See, I have a compass on my head. 
And I guess I know, so I know what direction I'm going in. My tongue, it's tattooed, but it's hypodermic injection. I actually modernized the uh, technique for tongue tattooing back in 2010. My tongue is more tattooed than any other person in history, and, all, and my tongue is tattooed all the way to the vase down here in my throat. Do not do this at home. Do, there is no professional that can do this. <laughs> But the eye tattoos, I was, I think, number six in the world to get their eyes tattooed. Originally, I had blue, I had green in this eye and blue in this eye. And then, uh, I, three years later, I had multiple colors added, magenta and gold. The most painful spot on the body to get tattooed, the nose. That is the most painful. Even the baby toes, the nail beds hurt a lot. Uh, I sneezed uh, black ink for, uh, for about 20 minutes after that and it was the most painful thing I'd ever been through. The eyelids are very painful, I, even with anesthetic. I have on the inside of the eyelid tattooed. People generally do not tattoo. They only tattoo up to the eyelash line. Multiple piercings, my ears are stretched out. I don't have the jewelry in them, but you can see through them. I have large earlobes. I have um, a laser brand of a heart over my own heart. It was done with a medical laser, and we have a, I have a heart of scar tissue right over my heart. That from um, Malaysia. If you go to zero longitude, zero latitude, uh, it's a place in Ecuador. So I had to earn to get that tattoo. I have a lot of little tattoos that I, you know, money symbols from countries. Behind that, I have hopscotch game. So hopscotch in my crotch. Bad I have a lot of bad jokes. Here's Waldo. Now you know where Waldo is. Water phoenix tails uh, uh, and the fire phoenix tails. That work would just take nine hours a day. Just you couldn't walk for three days afterwards. This piece is, wow, 37 years old. But 10 years ago, tattoo conventions became a um, bigger thing, a more popular thing in society and all over the world. I do a lot of traveling simply because I am well known and I know the people personally after being in the business for all that, for 36 years. And now I'm one of the most popular tattooed attractions all over the world. Before the pandemic, I was traveling to 10 to 12 tattoo conventions a year. Some people have me book every year for the rest of my life. If I ask, they, they act confused. They're like, we told you forever. <laughs> this is the peak of my life. You're literally, I'm going to die a happy man. And every day before I die, every day since I've gotten my record, I felt like I've succeeded in my life because of this. It's my most valuable piece of property and the best thing that's ever happened to me.